In the beautiful setting of the Italian Alps lies a fancy ski resort that boasts an unusual feature, a stylish casino nestled within its boundaries. However, the story takes an exciting turn as MI6, the well-known British intelligence agency, sends a team of agents on a daring and high-stakes mission. The team consists of three field agents, Parker, Young, and Bailey, supported by the technical skills of Rachel Stone, their expert. Their single goal? To capture a mysterious figure known as Mulvaney, a famous arms dealer who has chosen this resort as the setting for his risky activities. What makes this mission different from the usual is the strange scenario unfolding. Mulvaney is deeply involved in high-stakes gambling while live-streaming a U.S. Marines combat mission. The situation quickly worsens as Yang's attempt to stop Mulvaney goes wrong, setting off a series of chaotic events. In an act of bravery, Parker manages to grab Mulvaney and, against the odds, drags him toward a cable car. However, their opponents are far from inactive. They gather at the mountain's base, ready to surprise the beleaguered MI-16. Without her MI-6 colleagues knowing, Rachel Stone hides an important secret. She is a key member of a secret organization called The Charter, dedicated to preserving global peace through hidden means, away from the attention of governments. At the core of their operations is a clever AI entity named The Heart, capable of overcoming any security barrier. Rachel, operating under the code name Nine of Hearts, emerges as the organization's star agent, a mysterious figure in her own right. As the dangerous situation in the Italian Alps intensifies, it becomes clear that MI6 alone may not be able to rescue Parker in time. It is here that Rachel Stone, in a surprising partnership, contacts her secret associate, known only as Jack of Hearts, to plan a daring rescue operation. They succeed in saving Parker, but an unexpected turn of events sees their entire mission fall apart as Mulvaney, the arms dealer, meets a dark end through poison, leaving their pursuit in ruins. Returning to London, Rachel Stone finds herself facing a stern reprimand from Nomad, a prominent figure within the Charter, for nearly jeopardizing her cover. Motivated by a hunch, Stone delves into her suspicions about a hacker she encountered during her Alps mission. Her investigation leads her to infiltrate Parker's family home and exploit his computer to reveal the identity of the mysterious hacker, Kaya Dawan, an orphaned individual with connections to Indian criminal groups. MI6 quickly deploys the team to track down Kaya in Lisbon, with Rachel Stone still concealing her true allegiance under layers of secrecy. Upon their arrival in Lisbon, the situation takes a decidedly grim turn for the MI6 team. Instead of a warm welcome, they find themselves caught in a carefully planned attack organized by a group of hired mercenaries. Jack, recognizing the danger, urges Stone to make a quick exit from the scene. However, Stone firmly refuses to leave her comrades and returns to the fight, fully aware that such a decision might require revealing her carefully constructed cover. Emerging unharmed from the ambush, Stone reveals her true identity as a powerful agent aligned with the Charter. This revelation casts a cloud of suspicion and uncertainty over the unfolding events. Matters take a dark and unexpected turn when Parker, one of their own, betrays his allegiance, resulting in the tragic deaths of Yang and Bailey. In a surprising turn of events, it's revealed that Parker had been secretly working with Kaya from the beginning. He discloses that he planned the elimination of Mulvaney as part of a grand scheme to gain access to the heart. What follows is a clever move by Parker, poisoning Stone and implanting a deceitful device within her, similar to a Trojan horse, designed to compromise the Charter's complex systems. Stone subsequently finds herself captured and taken to the Charter's headquarters, where the implanted device begins a frantic attempt to breach security protocols. Displaying remarkable determination and resourcefulness, Stone manages to remove the harmful device, thwarting the impending cyber threat. However, the chaotic situation leads Nomad, the high-ranking figure within the Charter, 
to impose a temporary suspension on Stone. Discovering Parker's deep-seated desire for revenge against the Charter, it becomes clear that he seeks payback for a previous MI6 operation gone wrong in Chechnya eight years earlier, in which he was presumed dead but survived. A surprising discovery emerges from the cyber breach. The Heart's central command system is located on a massive airship floating high above Western Africa. This revelation compels Parker and Kia to set their course for the airship, despite Stone's desperate attempts to thwart their mission. In a gripping climax, Stone clings to the edge of a helicopter for dear life, with Kia hanging precariously at the other end, creating a heart-stopping cliffhanger moment. Demonstrating quick thinking and agility, Stone cuts the tether, sending Kea and Parker plummeting into the unforgiving terrain of the Senegal desert. The crucial realization dawns on Stone that the heart can only be unlocked through Kea's intricate biometric data, setting the stage for a tense and intricate pursuit. The tension escalates as Parker's associates attempt to ambush them, prompting Stone to undertake a daring escape leaping from an ocean cliff before being rescued by a fellow operative from the heart, known as Six of Hearts. In the midst of these unfolding events, Parker's transformation into a kind of rogue scientist takes a frightening turn as he activates the heart's capabilities. With ruthless precision, he eliminates the Kings of Diamonds and the King of Clubs, demonstrating a complete disregard for human life. Furthermore, he devises a sinister plan to trap Nomad, Jack, and the MI6 agents from London within an underground bunker, subjecting them to a dangerous struggle for survival as oxygen dwindles in their confined space. The situation spirals into a whirlwind of chaos and suspense. Amidst the chaos, Kea grapples with the alarming revelation that Parker has become intoxicated with power and is now indistinguishable from the very adversaries she seeks to bring to justice. In a bold and unexpected move, she chooses to align herself with Stone, recognizing the necessity of deactivating the heart and putting an end to Parker's reign of terror. It is in this critical moment that Kia also discloses crucial information about Parker's hidden whereabouts. Unfazed by the escalating dangers, Stone takes decisive action, neutralizing Blonde, Parker's top lieutenant, before heading for the heart of the heart server facility. Fueled by determination, Parker resorts to desperate measures, seizing Kia as a hostage in a futile attempt to force her into reactivating the heart. Stone, however, reaches her breaking point, confronting Parker in a tense and violent showdown that culminates in his demise at her hands. With Parker's threat eliminated, Kia steps up to rescue Nomad Jack and the beleaguered bunker occupants by successfully restoring the heart's functionality. In the aftermath, Kea finds herself imprisoned, but a glimmer of hope emerges as Stone pays her a visit, offering her a chance to collaborate with the heart in exchange for amnesty. Fast-forwarding through the pages of time, Stone embarks on a new mission, this time assembling a fresh team consisting of Kia, now operating under the code name Joker and Jack. Together, they create a captivating display in a bustling town square, orchestrating a breathtaking show of sparks emanating from street lamps to celebrate the spirit of Christmas, marking a captivating and mysterious conclusion to this heart-of-stone engaging tale. 